find the bomber. His second attack, the real attack, we think, can be prevented. We have very little time left. Out here, the clocks only move in one direction. How's the drivers? On the upper deck of the next carriage, there's a conductor's compartment. It's a small office containing a strong box. Inside is a loaded handgun. Get to it. You are authorized to use whatever force necessary. Hey there, this is Tom Long, film critic for the Detroit News. This is the real deal. We're going to talk about source code here. I dug source code. Um, it is one of these mind-boggling movies, and the problem with mind-boggling movies is either they don't boggle your mind enough or they boggle it way too much and don't make any sense. Source code comes just close enough to making sense. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal plays a guy who suddenly wakes up and he's on a commuter train and going into Chicago. In eight minutes, that train... <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal then wakes up in uh, some sort of space capsule and it turns out the Air Force is putting his mind inside this guy who happens to be on the train. And they're trying to get him to find out where the bomb is, to, you know, get rid of the bomb, to cap the, capture the bad guy who's setting it up. Of course, he's only got eight minutes, so he keeps zipping back to the train where he's riding with Michelle Monaghan, um, who doesn't know, of course, about these changes going on. Um, and the whole thing's being orchestrated by Vera Farmiga as an Air Force colonel and some sort of mad scientist type played by Jeffrey Wright. Wright is just playing the mad scientist and Gyllenhaal, even though this is probably his best action role ever that I've seen, um, you know, he's just playing the hero, you know, the somewhat obviously distressed hero. He can't figure out what's going on. Uh, the movie really turns on Monaghan, who has to act like she's just met this guy every eight minutes um, and has to proceed to be just charming enough for him to fall in love with her. Of course, you know they're going to fall in love. And really on Farmiga, who's just in this control room, and through her subtle turns and, and hints, you kind of figure out what's going on. You don't fully figure out what's going on. The movie doesn't make complete sense, but it's a pretty good, pretty solid sci-fi thriller. I'm giving it a B. If you're looking for that kind of stuff this weekend, you're in luck. Source code's pretty cool. Talk to you soon. Tell me everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay.